the more I manage to soften my German English or Denglish pronunciation, the more insecure I became about how to pronounce English. For example, I hear myself saying cure, 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 cure without a clear preference. So, to get a more consistent pronunciation, I looked at lexical sets, classes of words with the same vowel phoneme, such as cure. I started out with the British English vowel system, also called received pronunciation, or RP for short. Fleece, face, palm, goat, goose, near, square, start, force and north, cure, kit, dress, bath, trap, cloth and lot, foot and strut. In the south, particularly in standard southern British, or SSB for short, the close vowel in fleece breaks into a closing diphthong ending in the glide e, fleece, and the closing diphthong in face also ends with a glide e, face. Similarly, the closing diphthong in goat ends with the glide w, goat, and the closing vowel in goose breaks into a closing diphthong ending with the glide w, goose. In the North, particularly in Scottish, all of these five vowel phonemes remain monophthongs. Fleece, face, palm, goat, goose. As RP is non-regional, it falls somewhere between Northern and Southern British accents, with an ongoing trend towards Southern accents. For example, the diphthong in goat used to be goat, in older RP, almost like northern goat. Its SSB equivalent would be goat. Diphthongs ending in schwa have become long vowels in the south. Ne, square. Start already has a long vowel in SSB, as does force. But force's RP equivalent is more open, force. Similarly, the diphthong in cure behaves like the vowel phoneme in force, turning into cure in modern RP and cure in SSB. So the SSB equivalent of goat might be goat after all. Not surprisingly, conservative forms of start and force have a closing diphthong, start, force. As an aside, in older RP, the diphthong in square was a bit more closed, square. In the north, all of these five vowel phonemes remain long vowels, followed by an R sound. Ir, er, ar, or, ur. It is worth noting that the starting point of the diphthong in start has not changed in RP. Otherwise, we would probably hear start and start. The short vowels of kit, dress and foot were already introduced as elements of the diphthongs in face and goat. We've also seen the lengthened vowel of bath in palm and start. The vowels of trap, lot and strut, on the other hand, are the result of splits and mergers involving closings, openings, roundings and unroundings that are beyond the scope of this video. In SSB, dress and trap are more open. Dress and trap. I have to admit I keep hearing trap, though. Lot, on the other hand, is more closed. Lot, while foot is more centered. Foot. If we go north and or back in time, we find these vowels. Kit, dress, bath as well as trap, lot as well as cloth, and foot as well as strut. By the way, you can think of the strut vowel as a realization of a stressed schwa. At its core, a simplified or friendly RP vowel system can be thought of as somewhere between an idealized northern rhotic accent with five long vowels, e, e, a, o, 
u with and without a, and five short vowels i, e, a, o, u on the one hand, and an idealized non-rhotic southern accent on the other, where these long vowels tend to break into the diphthongs e, a, o, u, and when combined with a, they break into the centering diphthongs e, er, a, er, a, or u, and finally smooth into the long monophthongs e, e, a, or u. Preferring the short vowels i and u to the modern glides y and w, in closing diphthongs only e and o break into a and o. Start is merged with palm and cure is merged with force in southern accents. Since rp isn't rhotic, it has the same mergers. In RP, the short vowel A in bath splits into a lengthened bath, merging with palm, and trap. Splitting away from foot, we get strut, which my German tongue tends to pronounce strut, merging with pre-lengthened bath. It would be easier and more consistent to aim for a schwa here, strut, but some habits are hard to break, sorry for that. And so my mental cheat sheet for this hopefully more accessible version of RP boils down to this vowel system, where I keep older pronunciations like force and cure in case I need to keep force and cure separate from thought, which I will cover in an upcoming video where I will follow up on the remaining diphthongs, schwas and edge cases of short vowels. Thanks for watching.